Hi, and welcome to AE Help's IELTS test preparation videos. In this video, you will see an example IELTS speaking interview with a native Canadian English speaker who would likely score 8.5 to 9. For lots more help with the academic IELTS and many more lesson videos, please visit us at www.aehelp.com and join the full course. Okay, that's the end of part one. Okay. Now, for part two, I'm going to give you a card mm -hmm. with some questions, okay. okay? You will have about one minute to prepare your answers, mm -hmm. and then you will have about one to two minutes to give a response. Okay. I will tell you when to start and when to stop, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now, you may use the note paper and pencil in front of you to take okay. some notes in the one minute. Mm -hmm. um, and here is the card with the questions. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, your one minute begins now. Okay, Jade, your one minute is up. Okay. Please begin speaking. All right. Well, I would say that a more enjoyable shopping experience that I had recently was when I was looking for some new jogging shoes. Uh, the last couple of months, I've been wanting to get back into exercising. I used to jog almost every day, but I really needed to get some new shoes. So I went to Shoe World, which is a huge store, like maybe 15,000 square feet of shoes and I was totally lost. I couldn't find the ladies shoes or the sports shoes or more specifically the ladies jogging shoes. So as I was wandering around looking lost, this really helpful saleswoman came by. Her name was Sarah and she directed me over to the jogging shoes, asked me all kinds of really great questions like, what kind of jogging I was going to be doing. Would it be on the road or maybe on a trail? Would it be long distance or sprints? And of course, what size I was. Anyway, Sarah ended up finding the perfect pair of shoes for me, even in a cool color. And ever since then, I've been jogging again. I've been using these shoes. And I really feel that buying shoes at Shoe World was the most enjoyable shopping experience that I've had lately, mostly because of Sarah, the really helpful staff. All right, excellent. So um, that's the end of part two. Okay. Um, may I have the card back, yeah, please? Thanks. All right, so now I'm going to continue with part three and okay. ask you some more questions on some similar topics. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to yes. continue? Okay, great. So let's talk about consumerism. Okay. Many people believe that we live in a world of excessive, shop of excessive shopping. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with this idea? Well, that's kind of a tricky question because, of course, in the West, there's a lot of excessive shopping, but in most of the world, they go without a lot of things that we take for granted. I heard a statistic the other day that the average American citizen consumes 70 times as much as the average Indian citizen in any given year. Okay. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of frequent advertising and the way it influences people? So you're asking like the positive and negative effects on society of advertising? Yes. Yeah, well I definitely think that advertising can give us uh, some positive information like if there's a sale happening or specific information about products, that's really helpful for shopping. This video and materials were taken from aehelp.com for lots more help with the academic IELTS and to help improve your score, please visit us at www.aehelp.com and join the full course.